brightest night and brightest day. Be at my side, O Lord. Hold my hand and guide me on my way. Sometimes the rose in song, my energy is spent. Then, Lord, I think of you and I am given strength. Walk with me, O oh my Lord, through the darkest night and brightest day. Be at my side, O oh Lord, hold my hand and guide me on my way. Stones often bar my path and there are times I fall. But you are always there to help me when I fall. Walk with me, O oh my Lord, through the darkest night and brightest day. Be at my side, O oh Lord. Hold my hand and guide me on my way. My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you. For this holy Eucharist of love. We pray in a very special way for your intentions. And we also pray for the intentions of those who are sick and suffering. We pray for their healing. We pray for Syria and Turkey for the rescue work. We pray for those who have died, those who have lost their near and dear ones. My dear friends, if you wish to help in this rescue work financially, you are free to contribute. We also pray for those who are suffering due to serious ailments that the Lord may bless them with healing. We pray for our students appearing for their exams these days, that the Lord may bless them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind all our sins and our failures. Let us ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, my sisters, sisters that, that I have, have greatly sinned. sinned. In my thoughts and in my words, in what have I done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask bless Mary ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers, my sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, author of every mercy and of all goodness, who in fasting, prayer, and almsgiving have shown us a remedy for sin. Look graciously on this confession of our lowliness, that we who are bowed down by our conscience may always be lifted up by your mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 17, verses 3 to 7. Strike the rock, and water will flow from it. 
tormented by thirst the people complained against moses why did you bring us out of egypt they said was it so that i should die of thirst my children too and my cattle moses appealed to the lord how am i to deal with this people he said a little more and they will stone me the lord said to moses take with you some of the elders of israel and move on to the forefront of the people take in your hand the staff with which you struck the river and go i shall be standing before you there on the rock at horeb you must strike the rock and water will flow from it for the people to drink this is what moses did in the sight of the elders of israel the place was named masa and meriba because of the grumbling of the sons of israel and because they put the lord to the test by saying is the lord with us or not the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm o oh, that today you would listen to his voice harden not your hearts o oh, that today you would listen to his voice harden not your hearts come ring out a joy to the lord hail the rock who saves us let us come before him giving thanks with songs let us hail the lord your response o oh, that today you would listen to his voice harden not your hearts come in let us bow and bend low let us kneel before the god who made us for he is our god and we the people who belong to his pasture the flock that is led by his hand your response o oh, that today you would listen to his voice harden not your hearts o oh, that today you would listen to his voice harden not your hearts as at meriba as on that day at masa in the desert when your fathers put me to the test when they tried me though they saw my work your response o oh, that today you would listen to his voice harden not your hearts second reading a reading from the letter of saint paul to the romans chapter 5 verses 1 to 2 5 to 8 the love of god has been poured into our hearts through our lord jesus christ by faith we are judged righteous and at peace with god since it is by faith and through jesus that we have entered this state of grace in which we can boast about looking forward to god's glory and this hope is not deceptive because the love of god has been poured into our hearts by the holy spirit which has been given us we were still helpless when at his appointed moment christ died for sinful men it is not easy to die even for a good man though of course for someone really worthy a man might be prepared to die but what proves that god loves us is that christ died for us while we were still sinners the word of the lord thanks be to god gospel acclamation glory to you o christ you are the word of god lord you are really the savior of the world give me the living water so that i may never get thirsty glory to you o christ you are the word of god the lord be with you and with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter four, verses five to eight. 
to 42. Jesus came to the Samaritan town called Sychar, near the land that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Jacob's well is there, and Jesus, tired by the journey, sat straight down by the well. It was about the sixth hour when a Samaritan woman came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone into the town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, What? You are a Jew and you ask me, a Samaritan for a drink? Jews, in fact, do not associate with Samaritans. Jesus replied, If you only knew what God is offering and who it is that is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have been the one to ask and he would have given you living water. You have no bucket, sir, she answered. And the well is deep. How could you get this living water? Are you a greater man than our father Jacob, who gave us this well and drank from it himself with his sons and his cattle? Jesus replied, Whoever drinks this water will get thirsty again. But anyone who drinks the water that I shall give will never be thirsty again. The water that I shall give will turn into a spring inside him, welling up to eternal life. Sir, said the woman, give me some of that water so that I may never get thirsty and never have to come here again to draw water. I see you are a prophet, sir, said the woman. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain. While you say that Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship, Jesus said, Believe me, woman, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know, for salvation comes from the Jews. But the hour will come, in fact it is here already, when true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. That is the kind of worshipper the Father wants. God is spirit, and those who worship must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah, that is Christ, is coming, and when he comes, he will tell us everything. I who am speaking to you, said Jesus, I am he. Many Samaritans of that town had believed in him on the strength of the woman's testimony when she said, He told me all I have ever done. So when the Samaritans came up to him, they begged him to stay with them. He stayed for two days, and when he spoke to them, many more came to believe. And they said to the woman, Now we no longer believe because of what you told us. We have heard him ourselves, and we know that he really is the Savior of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, we are well aware of the turmoil of the Israelites periodically, from time to time, grumbling against Moses, grumbling against other prophets and God himself, using even abusive words wanting to do even physical harm to the prophets. And here comes Moses, who is appealing to God about the grumbling of the people of Israel. And he says, here we are. There is no water to drink. People are grumbling and say, saying, why have you brought us here to die? There is no water to drink. And Moses calls upon the Lord saying, They speak all kinds of words. They are even ready to stone me. And they will do it in some time. And then the Lord hears Moses saying, Take the staff. Go to Moreb. To the place where I will be there with you and strike on the rock that place where the people grumble was called Meribah and Massa. The water oozed out and that became a great miracle, a sign for people to believe that God is the living water in the midst of them. That God can make anything happen in our lives at our holy and humble request. So my dear friends, during this time of Lent, we are called to fast, we are called to pray, we are called to do almsgiving. This has to be a great devotion to the Lord in appreciation to what we live in connection with God. We are not called to grumble. We are not called to use bad words or abusive words, but to be patient for all that God has given to us to remain patient till the Lord grants to us. Jesus has given himself to us as the second reading from Romans informs us that we are saved by the grace of God. It is God's initiative to grant us his blessings through the Spirit. And Jesus who obeyed God, made everything possible for us. We see in the Gospel reading a very familiar passage to all of us from John chapter 4, where we all may at some times doubt the presence of God and what God really wants of us. An innocent woman, a Samaritan, who followed her own traditions when she is at Jacob's well drawing water. A man comes there asking for water and she identifies him to be a Jew. And she says, how can I and how can you drink? From my hands, the water that I draw. And Jesus reveals himself partially. That the water he is asking is in return that he will give it to her. 
the water that she will never thirst again she reminds him this water of the well which you believe to be where jacob and his sons drank it is a water for the limited heart thirst for our body but that which i will give to you will quench your thirst forever that will give you new life that will keep you living forever and this message she told to the people in the village that she has come across a great man or savior christ and people request him to stay there with them and jesus did by his deeds and by his words they realized that he is the true savior of the world my dear brothers and sisters we have been baptized with this living water which gives us the true spirit in christ we are called to recognize this savior we are called to recognize the spirit which is the true spirit that lives in this world which works with all positive character and goodness in us and gives away all the evil that is within us which purifies us and cleanses us and brings us back to our savior at this time let us reflect on our life and see whether we are making the best use of what we receive from god the daily word the holy eucharist and our daily connectivity are we a step ahead in our spiritual journey or we are going backward day by day let us ask our lord to be with us and to help us amen let us profess our faith together i, I believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen dear brothers and sisters let us pray to our lord especially for our pope for his good health for his good functioning as a leader and guide we pray for all the cardinals bishops priests religious and all the lay faithful that during this time of lent we may give the true witness of christ to the humanity by our prayerful life by alms giving and fasting Let us pray for all the leaders in the world that they may take care of their citizens and those marginalized the poor and the needy we pray for turkey and syria who are experiencing again and again earthquakes and also trouble and sufferings in life for losing their own near and dear ones we pray for all the teams that are gone to rescue we pray for our indians also in a very special way for their safety along with them 
We pray for all our families that we may observe this season of Lent with sincere heart and mind and help one another to grow in these observances. Let us pray for our children who are appearing for the exams. Let us pray for the sick and the suffering. Let us pray for those who are giving interviews for jobs. Let us pray for each other. Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of us may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Give us the right dispositions, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings, for which with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks to our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, by abstaining forty long days from earthly food. He consecrated through his fast the pattern of our Lenten observance and by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice, so that, celebrating worthily the Paschal Mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal Feast, and as with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the prayer of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and found by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver, but deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you obey the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let 
Let us pray. As we receive the pledge of things yet hidden in heaven and are nourished while still on earth with the bread that comes from on high, we humbly entreat you, O Lord, that what is being brought about in us in mystery may come to true completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, wishing you all a very joyful day with your family and friends. We hail thee, Savior and Lord, thy cross ever be adored. O cross, thou art the fountain of love and of liberty. eternal love.